Ah, good morning, Mr. Russell. Just Russell. Okay, well, Russell, I uh, understand you're in need of my special services. Yeah, that's right. I got some serious cash. I need laundering. Yes, well, that is a service I can provide to clients with unorthodox income streams. So how does this work? It's very simple. You give the money to me. I invest it in numerous overseas operations. Then I funnel it through a few shell corporations, and I return it to you. Minus my 3% commission, of course. Wow, 3%? I assure you, the money returned to you will be completely untraceable. No traces at all. Okay, okay, that sounds good. So, when does the actual laundering happen? As I've said, the money will be sent to a country with lax banking regulations, and will further muddy the waters by sending it through various shell corporations. Yeah, 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 right, right. I get all the transferring stuff. But does the laundering happen before that or after? I'm sorry? I'm just saying, you're putting the money through all this muddy water. How do I know it's going to be clean at the end? Muddying the waters is just an expression See, to... See, that was the problem I was having with the guy at the laundromat down on 7th Street. You gotta keep changing the water. Laundromat? Hang on. Do you actually think I'm going to take your money and then physically wash it in soap and water and then return it to you? Well, most of the bills will probably have to be ironed too. And a couple of the coins have some green stuff on them. I think it's oxidization. Anyway, I used to do it myself with vinegar and baking soda, but I'm hoping you can do it faster. So that briefcase is filled with... Dirty money. By which you mean money covered in dirt, don't you? May I see? Sure. I admit this is some of the filthiest money I've ever seen. Was this buried in a swamp? I don't trust banks. Russell, I'm sorry that you've wasted your time, but if you have no need of my services... All right, you two, hands where I can see them. Rupert Woodley, we have reason to believe you're engaged in an illegal money laundering operation. There must be some mistake, officer. I'm simply going to wash this man's money. Look, it's filthy. So you confess. Well, that's good, because you and my old friend Russell here are going to go down hard. Why are you pigs always hassling me? Wait, who the hell are you? Agent Dana Beretta. TCEU. Treasury Cleanliness Enforcement Unit? Look, I think there's been a big misunderstanding. I do the other kind of money laundering. So you take illegally obtained money and then transfer it through a third party so it appears legitimate. Yes? Oh, that's why your rates were so low. My last guy was charging me a buck fifty a pound. Look, Mr. Woodley, I'm sorry to have wasted your time, but you really need to be more clear about what kind of services you're offering. Now excuse me while I take out the trash. You're going down for a long time, Russell. Maybe ten years cleaning pennies in federal prison will teach you to use a licensed money cleaning service. Gross. Sir, your clothes are back from the cleaners. Excellent. Just hang it on the door. Absolutely. And will that be all, sir? Yes. In fact, why don't you take the rest of the day off? Thank you, sir. I see the appeal. They used a bit too much starch, though. 